Good afternoon, everyone. As that record cold continues to push further south out of Canada into the U.S., later in the week, these air masses are going to collide, and you're going to see some absolutely strange weather mixing with vortices. Interestingly, readings on the map, all below zero Fahrenheit over land, but over water, epic lake effect snows. As this front sweeps through later on, in the 18th and 19th, these Arctic air mass is going to slam against Gulf moisture. Literally, 30 degree Fahrenheit below zero temperature slamming into something that is around 70 degrees Fahrenheit. That's a 100 degree difference. Looking out into the Dakotas as this passes, and it's not going to let up. Pushing east, Chicago is going to be minus 24. Snow forecast out through Christmas. Looking at December 15th, Eurasia temperatures, 40 degree Celsius below normal temperatures. December 12th, snow record smashed in Sapporo six times the average snowfall. And please remember to subscribe to ADAPT 2030. The view from the North Pole over the Northern Hemisphere Intrusion of warm air in through Norway, pushing epic record cold across Asia. North America not immune either. It's just been record cold front after record cold front after record cold front. And here we go again, pushing out of Canada through the next week into the southeast United States. And as these two air masses collide, this warm and cold, there's such a temperature difference. It's 25 Fahrenheit below zero temperatures in that dark purple, yet it's 60 degrees Fahrenheit in that orange coming out of the western states. When these two collide, you can only imagine what kind of weather is going to be along that front. Forecast temperatures all below zero, except interestingly over the water or where the heavy lake effect snows are going to drop first, followed by bitter cold. Chicago, December 19th, looking at minus 24 Fahrenheit. These are not wind chill temperatures. These are actual ground measurement temperatures forecast. Worcester, Massachusetts, East Coast area, a blistering negative 22 Fahrenheit. Snow totals across the northern part of the United States. Canada not included in that map, but just inverse and flip that. And on the 18th, this is going to be some of the most incredible and violent weather that you will see. Temperatures minus 40 Fahrenheit slamming against 65 degrees Fahrenheit loaded with moisture along that front. The vortices, it would not even surprise me if snow was spinning out of the tornado or ice was actually firing out of the sides of the tornado as this thing spun across the ground. As the front actually passes through, Dakotas and Plain states looking at 30 Fahrenheit below zero without wind chill. And as you get into the weekend, these minus 17, minus 18 Fahrenheit temperatures through the Minnesota area. And then suddenly it just flips and then it goes into the minus 30s within a few hours. Temperatures on the 19th followed by tremendous lake effect snows literally from one lake to the next. It's not even going to be in the coastal areas of the lake like you would expect off Lake Erie, Lake Michigan. This time it is literally going from lake to lake. That's how intense this front is. Look out to December 22nd, taking you through the Christmas holiday. White Christmas for quite a few areas across the U.S., Canada. A couple feet of snow going to be on the ground by that point. Jumping over to Eurasia. Seeing these same cold events on the other side of the planet. And these temperatures are in Celsius. We are over in Asia. This is 40 degrees Celsius below normal temperatures, which would be about 52 Fahrenheit. We'll see those same anomalous hot and cold weather mixing patterns. But as soon as this front starts to push more easterly into China, you could expect snow in Taiwan and unbelievable cold across China. As an example, December 12th, Sapporo set a new snow record, but it wasn't just a new snow record. It eclipsed literally six times. And they already had record snows in Tokyo just two weeks ago, which I did a video on as well. It is absolutely changing weather patterns back to the 200-year 
cyclical pattern. We're going to go back into the 400-year cooling. We're not anywhere close to where the cool will take us during this grand solar minimum. And those of you wanting to convert Celsius to Fahrenheit, I only took it to minus 29C. Thanks for watching. Hope you got something out of the video. I appreciate you spending your time with me here. I'm trying to give you a more detailed forecast that you can find over in these stations like AccuWeather or the Weather Channel. They're not specific. They just say it's going to be cold. And as these temperature swings, it's going to take an enormous toll on your body's immune system. You're going to want to try to stay healthy during this time. Jump over to GetTheTea.com. They have everything from Ali C to Moringa to detox formulas that can help you stay healthy as this temperature starts to really get into the wintertime cold. Please subscribe to Adapt 2030 and I'll keep more information like this coming to you.